Joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Tim Henschel. He is the co-founder and CEO at Hotel Planner. Tim, fantastic to have you here. Thanks for joining me. Ah, thank you so much for having me. It's so great to be here. It's great to have you. Now, I want to start off by talking about Hotel Planner. Tell me about the company. So Hotel Planner has been around for 21 years. I started the company uh, by patenting group hotel booking technology, and we'll do over $1.5 billion in group hotel reservations globally this year. Now, in the past year, you made three strategic brand acquisitions, which included Lucid Travel, Event Squid, and Cleverness. Um, tell me, how do they fit into your overall growth strategy and future plans? Well, we're making a big push into being the official accommodation partner for all the major trade shows worldwide. Uh, we're about at 250 in the next uh, couple of years. We hope to be at the top thousand trade shows, be the official accommodation media partner and registration. And that's where those companies come in that we acquired. Clavertis is, is trade show media and uh, Event Squid is registration. Now, do you have any predictions for how the travel and hospitality industry will evolve in the coming years? I think AI is going to play a big role in that. I don't think it's there quite yet. I would hope that um, it should combine with uh, some technology that will, will allow people to speak with AI more like a human. Uh, I think right now it's too chat bot um, centric. And then at that point, when your AI is very personalized to you, I think that, that it'll be making travel recommendations that people will actually convert in terms of a, a, a transaction, a transactional. Right now, it's more informational. Like, you know, you would consult your uh, AI, a chatbot, for more reference-based, uh, like going to uh, any search engine right now for just but actual transaction to be comfortable enough to do a a credit card transaction with, I think it's not there yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now tell me, what are the biggest challenges and growth opportunities in the year ahead for the travel and hospitality industry? Well, I think the declining population of the Western world will probably be an issue. On the short term, I think the lack of supply, COVID um, halted building. And so right now we have more demand than supply and that's causing room rates to go up. But um, Still, obviously, where uh, there's an opportunity and it's capitalism, there'll be builders out there building, there'll be commercial buildings that are gonna be converted into hotels. And so supply will catch up with demand, but long, so that's on the short term, but long term, you know, if we still continue to see, you know, declining population, of course, uh, that can make a, an issue with filling all these hotel rooms for travel. Now, of course, AI could play a role into that because if AI really does make us all more prosperous, the demand for travel could increase even on the lower population level. So we'll have to see. Um, that's probably more like 30, 40 years out. I'll be 80 by then, so <laughs> I don't know how much uh, it's going to affect me, but I've got three boys uh, and, you know, I got to look out for them, too. So looking at the future for, for the next generation. Tim, tell me about your future plans for IPO. Yes, we are definitely very ambitious for an IPO. And uh, of course, the New York Stock Exchange would be a great home for Hotel Planner. Uh, we are a global company. I'm personally based out of London. So, you know, we looked at quite a few places, but New York Stock Exchange is the largest. I have a personal friend who is a principal at Trinity Hotel Investors, which is currently publicly traded on the New York Stock Exchange. He has nothing but good things to say about it. All right. Well, Tim, fantastic to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Oh, thank you.